Saturdays and Sundays possibly, at least every Saturday. And they would have like sometimes early evening-ish classes like Tuesday, Thursday and so forth and so on. Um, even the little, even the wood chips at the bottom of the trees could make things look scorched. That's interesting from this perspective. But uh, she, Erin, that's right, her name was Erin and she wrapped it up. Um, she was gonna move to Michigan or similar. Um, but she did this for like 10, 15 years, it seemed like. It's more than five. <laughs> We're going back to she, ever since like 2012, 13 through 2023. So at least 10 years. Oops, I didn't feel good there for a second. So I'm wondering what caused it. Um, so we have to figure out if everyone were attached by invisible phone lines, we have to figure out where the corruption is coming in. So if you actually think of someone, it could bring in a network, if you will. Just imagine that your phone, you know, that your head is a cell phone and you don't want any um, terroristic connections. Like if you're five phone numbers away from a ter an actual person considered to be a terrorist, well, even if it's a radical protester, then your life could get me messed up, you know, <laughs> and you can't find, you know, so just imagine your head is a cell phone and you don't want anything coming in that's gonna jam you up. It's, you know, in a way, it's kind of sad. In my case, this has to be done. In a way, um, it means, you know, someone who's really nice and kind cannot necessarily communicate with people. And it would almost seem like snobby, if you will. But it's the only, like, in the back in the day, people would say, oh, marry up, or you gotta do this, you gotta stay away from that. This, uh, in the past, I would be like, well, that's uncool, because there's people who are, you know, they're totally fine and they didn't have the same opportunities or this, that, and the other. But these days in my case, it's, I almost have to adopt that old uh, mentality. Um, otherwise, you know, it's, I actually get physically ill if the phone lines are opened invisibly, if you will. It's hard to explain. So, I'm trying to figure out if it's because I remembered the yogi's name and because she's attached to yoga and that was part of a whole movement that was going on and we don't want anyone who was connected in her world to pop in. Or, which is sad, she's a nice person, so, um, but we have no idea why, how it is that she got to be the person, right, to teach this class or to set it up and have it on the Google Riverbanks. So, anyway, it's been minimal. Like, I, for a while, it's like, say I got a text from someone and I picked up the phone to look at it, I would, you know, my stomach would start to hurt. And it's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't read that text right now. And I'm like, what is it? And this could be a text from someone who's totally nice. And you know, one of the few supportive people I've ever known. And it's like, oh, okay, I shouldn't, I, I'll read the text later. That's how quickly someone could make me feel ill. So it does kind of feel like I'm heavily controlled by uh, someone else's um, desire. I mean, it could be in a good way, trying to make sure I get on the right path, make sure everything stays okay and that, and whatever erupted in 2011 never happens again <laughs> or continues, you know? So, um, hey, everybody gearing up next weekend or the weekend before Thanksgiving. This is a long month, it seems like, so it might be the following weekend because Thanksgiving is all the way at the end. Um, so, Maybe in two weeks is the Philadelphia run. It's either next weekend or the weekend after that. So 11, let's see, today, tomorrow's 11 plus five is 17. So it's not this one, it's the next one, right? Um, it's like, this is a really long month, it seems like. I don't know why it feels like it's stretched out, <laughs> why it seems longer. Um, but I guess, I'll look at the calendar. I know Thanksgiving's like the 28th. My birthday is right after Thanksgiving on December 1st. Um, so, uh, anyway. <sighs> I 
also worry too because I green juice for so long and ate a certain way I can't afford to constantly green juice I have a really cheap green juicer now because I had to let go of my Breville uh, because of moving so much and I just couldn't figure out I couldn't afford to move it with me so I had to leave things behind I had to come here with like one suitcase uh, and three items and that's it so I didn't even have like a move-in date like I there was a move-in date but I didn't have to reserve the elevator because I all I did was roll onto the elevator with my suitcase and like two or three bags and that's it uh, that's how much I had to let go of because of this agenda they're bad he's bad and he's bad so that's what I'm told. Um, so we found two people who technically would be quote unquote terrorists in my world. So what were they doing trying to, we will talk about it later. So we expose people for a living at this point in time because I was raped so badly. <sighs> smells like a deli, like a hoagie. The hoagie keeps people in place, is my saying. For people who eat hoagies every day, I know they taste good and they smell good and everything. Um, but, um, anyway, there's a whole argument about certain types of food and how it keeps people subjugated. How that food keeps people subjugated. I'm Danny, the birthday girl's mom. Oh, She's right. bad? Okay. <laughs> So the rich girl is bad. So we had to, um, she's bad. Okay. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of things going on. But whatever I was saying, I kind of forget now. Now they're bringing Taco, Del Taco Delphia. I always think of the Delphi murders and Taco Delphia. Delphi is in the middle of Philadelphia. Um, PGW inching his way, looking like a bulldog or similar. His fangs. Anyway, we will talk about this later, is my message from people who are trying to figure out what the problem is. Lots of electric underground here near this church. So everybody wonders, gosh, my Bacassana was super easy today. It's usually harder to do. That's called puppeting. Loka samasta siki no bhavantu shanti shanti shanti. So it's okay, I worked my ASS off through dhyana yoga, vinyasa flow. There's no good vinyasa flow any longer. Uh, Ashtanga is there, it's really expensive, um, but all the yoga that remains kind of sucks and you're spending a lot of money for a lot less yoga. It should be 75 to 90 minutes all the time and uh, it's easy to puppet yogis. Tiny dancer. Um, I had to learn that the hard way. No offense to yoga, because I loved 